Following the course of the Nera River, Manfred comes out onto Roche Percy Beach, which is one of only two nesting sites on the Pacific for loggerhead turtles, and also an important holiday resort in New Caledonia. That's how this species came under threat, and high emotion was aroused by the announcement of their disappearance. Nobody knew that newborn turtles use light to find their way, so instead of moving towards the moonlit lagoon, the little turtles, attracted to the artificial light from neighboring houses, found themselves on the road. A conservation association was therefore formed. Manu Hernu is one of the founder members. She's made a first nest here, but she seems to have moved again. She must be a bit further over here. Oh, there she is. Let's go quietly and see. In addition to an awareness campaign, a protection operation has been started. Every night, people come and identify the nest sites. She's laying her eggs. In this 2008-2009 season, the eco-rangers of the association have identified 240 nests that they are doing their best to protect. Around 30,000 eggs have been incubated in the hot sand. Only one in a thousand will survive. She's just laying her last eggs. These 240 nests have been dug by just 80 female turtles over five months. But these turtles won't come back for another three or four years after a long stay in Australia. She's starting to fill in her nest. She's finished laying. She's a lovely little animal. A lovely little animal who's over 30 years old, since that is the age when turtles become sexually mature. That's it. She's going. We must follow. Since its creation, the association has seen real progress. The simple presence of eco-rangers on the beach every night, combined with education of residents, has meant that in three years they have gone from protecting 140 nests to 240. Every day at dawn, an active member of the Buari Turtle Association takes over from the eco-rangers. Roberto is one of them. He walks along the 1,500 meters of sand to identify the nests that have been spotted. He counts the eggs, between 120 and 150 per nest, and protects them. He places a cage over the nest to ensure the continuation of an age-old cycle. In addition to light, there are many other threats. People come to the beach, obviously, but also stray dogs. 90% of eggs are destroyed in that way. The appearance of the beach suffers somewhat, but all of the eggs hatch now. Incubation lasts at least 52 days, so the eco-rangers know exactly which cages to lift. It just remains for Roberto to free about 10 little turtles that are too weak to get out of the nest on their own. Oh, it's so sweet. It's really cute. Put your hand like that. That's it, you hold it. We'll go and put them on the sand while they get wet. Try not to drop them. This activity has the advantage of attracting children and increasing awareness. 
Above all, it means that 2,000 turtles reach the sea every year that previously faced certain death before they ever saw daylight or tasted the sea. Statistically, only two of them will live long enough to return and lay their eggs on the beach. Those figures say a lot about the survival chances for this species. Today, there are international conventions to protect marine turtles, since Melanesians and Polynesians traditionally used to eat their meat on special occasions. These days, you can even come across them in the Caledonian Lagoon.